Oh, oh, hey folks, how you doing there? Dude here, coming to you of all things Wednesday, 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 April 10th. Now, I'm really, really, truly not proud of myself for doing this, but on uh, roundthekevin.com forward slash campfire, you know my podcast, I do once per week, once per week, that's, that's right now, right, right down there, roundthekevin.com forward slash campfire. Uh, I do my podcast on Tuesdays, 9 p.m., and I'm really not proud of myself for doing this one, folks. Uh, I pulled out the rabbit out of the hat. I found it, and, well, I did it on camera. I'm talking about none other than Crystal Pepsi. Oh, Crystal Pepsi. What, what, what's Crystal Pepsi? You got another stuff before you talk about the stuff? Oh, let's find a little history about the stuff. Uh, it's a soft drink made by PepsiCo from 1992 to 1993, and I remember back in the 90s, I didn't drink this stuff, okay? It was only for a short time, Canada and Australia, da 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 uh, it sold for a longer time in Europe during the 1990s. Re-released 2015 as promotion to go along with the link, the launch of the Pepsi's new signature smartphone app, Pepsi Pass. An official will release in mid-16. I literally just found this stuff at a local uh, convenience store. And a uh, marketing fad equating clarity with purity, beginning with a remake of Ivory Soap. Um, in the 1990s, you know, basically they started the, the clear alternatives to normal colors, equating clarity with purity and health. And you've never seen a taste like this, you know. Okay, so they launched the stuff, and they basically did a test market thing on us, well, not, and they were giving away samples and all the rest of the stuff, and they brought it back as a new thing, and, uh, well, mm, mm. okay, so I, let me tell you guys first off, I cracked the bottle on camera. The very, 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 very first thing to strike me was, it smelled like wee-wee. That's right, it smelled like urine. Uh, I said most sympathetically, it smelled like piss. No, does it still smell like piss? Um, I couldn't tell you, so let's crack the bottle after it's been sitting and breathing, well, in C2 overnight. It still has a pissy thing going on, okay? And I, I actually did, I actually had some friends of mine, read like a fellow members of the podcast, checking me out and going, uh, dude... Run the blue light over it and see if it doesn't have a whiz. So I literally spec'd it out, checked it out, and no, it did not have whiz. There was no whiz to be found. Uh, there's no whiz on there. It's a little bit of dust. Dust, you know, changes color. The cap is the cap is the cap. All the rest of the good stuff like that there. And uh, it is not anything different than what they intended for it to be. As a sealed bottle, there is no wee-wee apparent. Check the other bottle. Both these bottles were sealed. Both of them came out of the cold box in the convenience store. And um, I proceeded to crack it and taste it. Now, on the gamut of things that you can be drinking from Pepsi products, this one is kind of a, well, it's a low hit, okay? It's it's really a low hit. Let me push this guy. Let's just push this one way over here, okay? Crystal Pispy is going to go over here. Now, I normally have, as my daily driver, I normally do the Pepsi with real sugar, also known as the latest iteration of Throwback. As another rejoinder, I truly do enjoy, occasionally, I don't drink this one all the time, but I really enjoy the 1893, and, but this one tastes good. I mean, I, I it's one of these things where it's like, you taste this one versus this one, it's distinctly different. This one has a little bit more rounder flavor, it has a bit more of a vanilla note. And I really, truly enjoy both of these. This is my daily driver. This is my once in a while. But the thing is, I get cases of this stuff, like, over my shoulder here. Uh, probably that way. Let's see if I can't play with my focus again. Yeah, like, o over my shoulder in, in the, the bookcase back over here. I actually have a 12-pack of this stuff. I've been getting to the big box stores for, like, five bucks, six bucks. I mean, it's, it, it's a steal. Going to those stores, it's a dollar... Forty dollar seventy two bucks. I mean, it's it's kind of a little bit expensive versus your normal can of soda, and it's still a twelve ounce can. It's just a tall, skinny can versus a fat can. I almost kind of like these a little better. So anyway, going from north to south and all the rest of that fun stuff. Let's just do the <sighs> Pepsi shootout. Mm. We're gonna challenge colored cola, and I'm gonna make sure it foams about the same. Versus Clear Cola. It's going to be the Pepsi shootout. Now, this is a sealed bottle, folks. Listen. Listen carefully. Look at this nasty-ass bitch. All the little cracky-poppy things. Oh, no! 
Okay, now this one smells less pissy. I don't know if I really should define it as that, but it truly does. That one really smelled like piss. Did it taste like piss? I can't tell you, but it was really pissy. I don't know if that's a good defining characteristic of anybody's drink, but that's pretty much what it is. So as my control, oh crap, I probably need some water, but eh, I'll fake it. I'm going to drink, you know what, I'll, I'll drink this one first and I'll clear my palate with this one. So uh, I commend it to you, Crystal Pispy. Mmm. And the other thing that sucks about this one is this one has high fructose corn syrup. Okay, from my super taster, kind of a, you know, way I got doing things, let me take another swig here. It is a really, really, really watered down Pepsi. It has more of a citrus note. It has more of a vanilla note. The cola is just washed out completely. And to me, it really truly pretty much tastes like seltzer water with a little bit of flavor added to it to call it soda. This stuff sucks. Do not get Crystal Pepsi. It's only going to be around for probably a short time. You know, Pepsi basically just did a whole, whole bunch of, oh, yeah, we're going to give it to these guys. We're going to give it to those guys. All oh, those oh, secret secrets. You know, how many 18,000, 13,000 six-packs of special promotional blah, blah, blah. Oh, you can get the Crystal Pepsi if you're one of the guys who actually signs on board and wins. You're not winning much, okay? I'd rather drink this stuff. Completely different. Completely, completely different. This one is, this one is good. This one is... Okay, now this is actually the last test we're going to do. Can versus Baba. Um, let's do the Baba first. So I'm actually drinking this room temperature. It still sucks, man. It, it, it's just not good. This one has all the flavor cues you're looking for. It's just got a bolder, rounder, better flavor. This one could probably be said it's less carbonated. That's it, man. It's Game got less, over, okay? It, it's Game just, it's, it's like if you took this and you watered it down and added no coloring, you'd get this. Now, the biggest difference between the previous iteration and the current iteration of Crystal Pepsi is new Crystal Pepsi has caffeine. The old Crystal Pepsi didn't. You're now, what I'm probably going to do with these bottles, I'm probably just going to dump them out and call them collector pieces because I ain't drinking this crap anymore, okay? Considering the fact it's got high fructose corn syrup and what it does to my guts, I'm just not drinking it, okay? It's not worth my time to consume this crap that basically makes me feel like everything's just going... <laughs> and it's not happy when I do do it, so I'm, I'm not going to do it. So, you can take it on, well, my opinion, and, well, my opinion is the most important opinion to me because it's mine. Might not be the most important to yours, but you can take it as gospel. This stuff is not good, okay? Do not buy and drink the Crystal Pepsi because you're going to be... Utterly disappointed, and each one of these bottles was like a buck eighty nine in the store, and one was not any better than the other. They both just flat out sucked. Yeah, they, they just they're just not good. Okay, so what am I gonna say about this one? Uh, Crystal Pepsi, pretty much. You are well. You're you're gonna get sealed up, and you're gonna become a collector piece because I I'm I'm just not I'm not drinking you guys anymore. Okay, not drinking you. Mm -mm. Not, 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 not. I'll, I'll consider drinking this, and I will happily drink this. But these two, well, these two are, they're right out. <laughs> they're just right out. And anytime you crack one of these bottles, it's all going to end in tears. Woof. All right, folks, this is a swing and a miss. Huge, huge swing and a miss on Pepsi's part. Not good. Not good. <laughs> I'm going to break up with this one, folks. Eat good, keep the centering as always, always. You know it, you love it. Oh, I did not love this. Uh-uh. Not good, Pepsi. Not good. See you guys. Urgh!